Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome back uh, for our biology lesson today. My name is Stephen Karyungi. We are going to continue with our topic on classification two. Last lesson, we learned about the kingdom Protoctista. And we looked at three characteristics of kingdom Protoctista. Number one is that uh, some of the organisms in that kingdom are unicellular, that means single-celled, while others are multicellular, having many cells. We saw that. Then we also saw uh, that uh, kingdom Protoctista, they are eukaryotic, meaning that they have a nuclear membrane. And number three, we looked, we saw that uh, they have many organelles, such as mitochondria, chloroplasts, and so on and so forth. So today we are going to continue with the characteristics and see more characteristics as far as the kingdom Protoctista is concerned. So it's kingdom Protoctista. And we are looking at characteristics. So Protoctista should start with a capital P. So a point to note there. So uh, the fourth characteristic is that uh, uh, the kingdom Protoctista, uh, the members who are there, they have specialized structures that are specialized for special functions. So uh, the organisms have specialized structures for specialized functions. And a very good example is the contractile vacuole. We saw that the last time in the diagram. The contractile vacuole uh, is meant for osmoregulation. So if you look at the members of this kingdom, such as the amoeba, such as the paramecium, they have a contractile vacuole that is meant for a specialized function. And that function is osmoregulation. Osmoregulation means uh, regulation of osmotic pressure. Regulation of osmotic pressure of body fluids. Regulation of osmotic pressure of body uh, fluids. That is number four. We go to number five. Another characteristic of kingdom Protoctista is that uh, they have what we call locomotory structures, structures that are used for locomotion, and there are many. For example, we have the amoeba, it has its own structure for locomotion. If you go to uh, euglena, it has its own. When you go to paramecium, it has its own. So we we say that they have they have diverse locomotory structures structures for locomotion and we can take examples e.g. the amoeba has the pseudopodia Pseudopodia is what we called the false feet. When you go to something else like paramecium, this one has the cilia. Cilia, these ones are hair-like structures. Cilia. 
cilia are hair-like structures. They are meant for locomotion, movement from one place to another. And then we have an example such as euglena. Euglena is an algae. This one has flagella. So you can see that uh, the kingdom Protoctista have organisms with diverse, many different locomotory structures as we have seen. Then we go to number six. Uh, we say that some are autotrophic, e.g. the algae. Autotrophic means that they can synthesize their own food. We have some algae that are green in color, like the spirogyra. So they have chlorophyll, so they can carry out photosynthesis. So we say that they are autotrophic, while others, while others are heterotrophic. Others are heterotrophic. Heterotrophic, e.g. something like a plasmodium. They cannot uh, make their own food. They rely on what has already been manufactured by other organisms. So plasmodium is the one we say that uh, it's the one that causes malaria. So it gets blood from other animals. So it is relying on other organisms for food. So it is heterotrophic. And then... We have number seven in terms of the mode of reproduction. How do they reproduce? How do the members of Kingdom Protoctista reproduce? They reproduce asexually. So we say that most reproduce asexually. Asexually through... We also have a number of processes of asexual reproduction, e.g. amoeba is by binary fission. Is by binary uh, fission. So there are those that have other processes of asexual reproduction, such as fragmentation. There are others that have conjugation, and so on and so forth. So most of them are reproducing asexually. There is no gametes that are used. And for example, we said amoeba reproduces by binary fission, which means splitting into two. Means splitting into two. So an amoeba splits into two during its uh, uh, reproduction so that uh, they can increase. So lastly, I want to look at uh, the importance. I would like to look at the importance of importance of kingdom protoctista. Uh, for example, we can say number one, uh, some e.g. amoeba, they cause diseases. Cause diseases. So that's an economic importance. In fact, e.g., we have a disease that is called amoebic dysentery. So you can see the word amoebic. That means that it is caused by an amoeba amoebic dysentery. We look at uh, another importance. Another importance of the members of Kingdom Protoctista, especially, especially the algae, they are photosynthetic. So being photosynthetic, that means that uh, they add oxygen into the water. When they carry out photosynthesis, and they produce oxygen, that oxygen is beneficial to other aquatic organisms that we have in the water. So you can say that algae 
or we can say that photosynthetic algae, let us be specific, that photosynthetic algae enrich water with oxygen, enrich water with oxygen for survival of aquatic life forms, for the survival of aquatic life forms. So uh, that's where we are going to, to stop for today. Uh, we have learned the characteristics of Kingdom Protoctista. We have seen that uh, they are uh, eukaryotic. We have seen that uh, they have diverse locomotory structures as listed there, amoeba, pseudopodia, paramecium, cilia, and the others. We have some that are autotrophic, that make their own food. Others, they rely on already manufactured food, that is heterotrophic. They reproduce asexually. For example, amoeba reproduces by binary fission. And then finally, we have looked at how important, how important are they? We are saying that they cause diseases such as amoebic dysentery. You can even talk of diseases such as malaria. Malaria is caused by a plasmodium, which is a, also a, a, a protoctista, a member of kingdom protoctista. Uh, then finally, uh, we are going to have an assignment for today. The assignment uh, for today. Question number one. Uh, state two differences, in fact, uh, I'll say two structural, in terms of the structure, two structural differences between kingdom protoctista and Kingdom Monera. That is the first question. Two structural differences between Kingdom Protoctista, which we have just looked at, and the Kingdom Monera that we learned earlier. Then the second question, and the last question, name three locomotory structures, three locomotory structures in Kingdom Protozoa, Kingdom Protoctista, sorry, in Kingdom Protoctista. So name three locomotory structures in Kingdom Protoctista. So you'll answer those questions and uh, you'll get that information from what we have learned today. So thank you very much for being attentive. See you next time. Good day.